Hello friends, Peter has made a break in his holiday to come here to explain. Not everyone was happy with this thing and they said I should make it more simple and they even said kiss, one man said kiss and that's like America means keep it simple stupid. So. But on the other hand, Einstein said, make everything as simple as possible, but not more simple. So, but anyway, and then he said, how can I do it from here, from the hatch? Well, I don't think it's too difficult, you know. So I just undo it. To see that I can undo it. And Peter is doing a little filming in the meantime. I even undo it here in the bottom and of course now I have my thumb I was there yesterday and looks better the doctor said and I will go there on Thursday and might even be the last time so here like I said now with the thumb still even with the thumb it works So it's no, I, I don't think it's more difficult standing here than on the floor. Might even be better. But then this man who said I should keep it simple, stupid, said I must use a wedge. So the wedge, well it's very good keeping it going this way. I think it's up. Well you can of course have a string pulling it down. But it's even with the string, and if you put it really hard down, you will, it's going to be very hard to get up the wedge. So, Peter, maybe you take up the wedge, which is too. Yeah, he can do it, you know. So, how to do it? From the hatch, I just do it like this. And then, to make a knot easier to come up, always do a back turn. Yes, and then let's just stack that. Like this knot, even if it's getting hard. And then the other one. Get in there. So I say it is not too difficult, even with a thumb. So it really sits good now. I have to put some extra tension on it and pull them together. Like this. I can do it even more proper. Now it sits really hard. I can even do it even more strong. Yes. So compared to the webs, this is really better, I think. And I don't think it's more difficult to. So for these people calling me stupid, I use this as my defense. And now, Peter, what's gonna happen? <coughs> I show, show him in the picture. It is Peter. Hello. What, what are you gonna do? Uh, next week, you mean? What? Next week? Yes. Yeah, I'm gonna take a little bicycle uh, ride. A little one? Yeah, just a little one. How long is the little one going to be? About uh, 630 kilometers. So we will not see Peter and he has to be careful. We know we're going to be gone a week. We're going a week. Yeah. Well, I'm shaking a bit. Well, he take it back. And, uh, well, so, and like I said, the windows are there. And like I said, young Kenneth he had two big windows on his boots. And too much sun came in, and too many people, you know, put their eyes on and was looking inside what he was doing, you know. I don't know if he was picking his nose or something like that, you know. <laughs> I do that sometimes, you know, I know. So, 
like this boat, 12 centimeter diameter windows. And that's the same as the previous one. And I was at sea 150 days and that, and it was very good. And I could see, I can see the monster, how the sail is standing. This I couldn't do on the previous boat. So we thank Peter very much. Thank you.